The Soyuz is known to be used to transport astronauts to and from the International Space Station. Well, what if your sole source of transport gets damaged and you are stranded on the ISS? What will you do? Call SpaceX, of course. SpaceX continue to save the day as usual. Today, we will be talking about how NASA is considering using the SpaceX Dragon to rescue the crew of the damaged Soyuz that is stranded in space on the International Space Station. You must be wondering, how are they planning to do that, and can the SpaceX Dragon do this? Well, stick around till the end as we answer this question and more as we delve into the intricacies surrounding the damaged Soyuz and the SpaceX Dragon. Without further ado, let us begin. As the name suggests, Soyuz is a Russian invention. It was initially used to transport cosmonauts to and from the Soviet space station and subsequently Mir space stations. These spacecrafts are now used to transfer people to and from the International Space Station. It is highly important for its task as it needs to be active every minute. This can be seen that due to its role as an emergency escape ship, at least one Soyuz spacecraft is permanently connected to the International Space Station. Now let us talk about the SpaceX Dragon. It serves the same purpose as it is also a pressurized cabin designed to take humans to the International Space Station. However, since it has much superior technology, it is believed to be much better compared to the half-century-old spacecraft. Now let us discuss why NASA needs SpaceX's support and what actually happened. According to a source, NASA may employ a SpaceX craft to rescue three space station crew members who are depending on a leaky Soyuz to return to Earth. You must be wondering, how did the Soyuz even start leaking in the first place? Well, a coolant leak from a Soyuz spacecraft parked at the International Space Station was caused by a hole less than one millimeter. However, despite the hole being this small, the Soyuz couldn't be used to travel back to Earth. This meant the crew members couldn't come back and were stranded out there, so something had to be done. But this begs the question, how did they even know that the spacecraft was unable to fly? Well, a determination regarding whether it is safe to return the crew to Earth on board the Soyuz spacecraft from the International Space Station was made in January. But reports suggest it is unlikely that the spacecraft could be used to come back. However, the normal procedure would be to send a rescue Soyuz, but the only time a rescue Soyuz craft might arrive is in February, two to three weeks before the scheduled switchover in March. That is a long time and NASA is looking for alternatives. Speaking of alternatives, I don't think there are any alternatives better than the SpaceX Dragon. Besides the fact that the firm has some of the most advanced technology available when it comes to space travel, it is also the only firm currently sending astronauts into orbit from American soil. So the fact that it had proved itself already and it had a spacecraft that perfectly fit this job, it was easy for NASA to choose them. Moreover, the Dragon is not just an ordinary spacecraft. It is arguably better than the Soyuz based on its larger size and capabilities. So the question is not whether the Dragon will be able to do its job, the question is whether it will be called upon to do it. It all depends on NASA. For SpaceX, this task is a piece of cake when you have a spacecraft as advanced as the Dragon. That being said, the priority is not to use the Dragon as an alternative, but to rescue the crew up there. This was clear when NASA's Sandra Jones told Reuters in a statement that was made public on December 28 when she said we have asked SpaceX a few questions on their capability to return additional crew members on Dragon if necessary, but that is not our prime focus at this time. NASA did not give any specifics. There are many options to consider, such as the fact that the firm might launch a backup crew Dragon spacecraft to pick up the crew or add more seats to the current Dragon, which is more properly known as Endeavor. It all depends on NASA and what they choose to do. I know there is this common misconception that NASA and SpaceX are rivals in the space industry, but that is far from the truth. This is not the first time that NASA and SpaceX have worked together. They have a collaborative relationship. SpaceX provides NASA with launch services for its spacecraft, while NASA has provided SpaceX with funding, technical expertise, and other resources. The two organizations have worked together on several projects. 
including the commercial crew program, the Falcon Heavy Rocket, and as you can see in this case, the Dragon Cargo Resupply Missions. In addition, SpaceX and NASA have partnered on research and development for various technologies, such as reusable rocket stages. So it would not be surprising if NASA opts to choose the SpaceX Dragon to be launched for its rescue mission based on the history the two have had. Since the coolant leak happened, Russia and US engineers and managers have collaborated smoothly. An official said it's remarkable that NASA and Russian astronauts are still working exceptionally well together when it comes to international space station operation, given all that's happening since the war broke out between Russia and Ukraine. The cooperation between NASA and Russia is very important for continued operation of the space station. SpaceX has been heavily involved in major space-related missions in recent years. There was a time when NASA dominated the space industry, but companies like SpaceX have shown that the dynamic is changing, and private companies like SpaceX will soon take over. We all know where the industry is going, towards privatization. And soon it won't be just supported by your tax dollars, but will be supported by tourism, as people will happily throw money to enjoy a ride to space. And looking at the current circumstances, where SpaceX is providing most of the modern technology required by the industry nowadays, I am sure they are close to taking the crown from NASA as the leading company in the space industry. I think you know which company to go to when this industry opens up tourism. I think I have cleared everything there is to know about the damaged Soyuz and the SpaceX Dragon. But if you still have questions, do let us know in the comments down below. I hope you liked and enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. We value the feedback of our subscribers, so do not hesitate to do so. And lastly, subscribe if you wanted to see similar videos.